Hello! Welcome to one of my videos. Today, I, well, okay, this is not today that I realized this, but many, many weeks ago I realized that I need to go through my brush collection again and declutter it and just kind of go through the things that I don't use anymore. I know I recently did a brush declutter and I put it on YouTube. I bought some brushes since then. Guilty. But yeah, I need to just go ahead and, and declutter it. My brush cups are kind of way too cluttered right now, way too full, and I know there's brushes in there that I don't use, and I've recently gotten some new brushes that, in my opinion, replace those other brushes, so I need to declutter my collection. And that's what you're going to watch today. I hope everybody enjoys my brush collection mini declutter. I'm gonna start with this brush cup first. This is one of my more used cups. These two I use mainly every day. This is my eyeshadow brushes. So these are my more used cups. These other ones are kind of like my extra, what I don't use all the time. So I'm gonna go through this cup specifically and pick out the brushes that I know 100% for sure I'm keeping. So the first round of brushes I'm keeping, I'm gonna keep this little e.l.f. eyebrow brush. This is a Wet n Wild brush, these are two It Cosmetic brushes, and this is a Too Faced, the new Pretty Rich highlighting brush. I'm going to keep all of these. Alright, so we got, these are two Real Techniques brushes, this is Wet n Wild, and that's also Real Techniques. I'm going to keep all, all of these. This bronzing, well I don't know, I think it's a blush brush, but I've been using it as a bronzing contouring brush. So I love this one, but I just got this one from It Cosmetics. For Christmas, I bought it for myself. Look how pretty the handle is. So with that one now in my collection, I don't necessarily need this one. I like, there's nothing wrong with this. This was a good brush. I've used the living poop out of this. However, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. Since I have a brush that is the same, same head, just a little better quality. I'm also going to declutter this brush from Wet n Wild. Ironically, I actually bought these at both the same time years ago. This one I had been using for highlighting. However, when I got this Too Faced brush, I don't need this one anymore. I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. This is, I think, a concealer brush. So I was not using it for what it was designed for, but who cares. These last three brushes are very difficult for me right now. I'm going to have to emotionally work through this. I'm going to talk myself through it on camera with you guys. Alright, so this buffing brush from Real Techniques, I love this. This has been my favorite for powder and stuff. I got this one in the It Cosmetics brush set for the Christmas season this year. I love the handle. It's beautiful. It's nice quality. It's lovely. I spent the money on it. It's wonderful. And I've already decided I'm keeping that one. And this is the same exact brush head. So there is nothing wrong with this brush, however I need to just let it go. So these last two brushes, so this is an expert face brush and this is a contour brush, they're both from Real Techniques. I like this one for butter bronzer. That's actually what I use them both for, however I don't need two brushes for one product. That's a little too extra for me. Um. Oh, this is so difficult. Okay, so I am going to get rid of this one and I'm going to keep this one. Okay, well that was, well that was unnecessarily difficult. Now on to this cup. So these ones I can just knock out right now. I got these ones, I bought these for myself for Christmas. More It Cosmetics sets. They're exactly the same brushes in both the sets keeping all six of these. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pick out the brushes that I know I'm going to keep out of this cup. I've got my Star It Cosmetics brush and then all three of the Heart Love is the Foundation brushes. I'm going to keep all of these. Definitely keeping this Real Techniques brush. These two, this is Real Techniques and this is Wet n Wild. They have the same exact head. The Wet n Wild one is a little less packed together. It's a lot fluffier comparative to this. They do the same thing. <sighs> this is difficult for me. Okay. 
I'm rolling my eyes at myself right now, but I'm getting rid of this one. And I'm going to keep this one. The last brush in this cup is this Wet n Wild blush brush. I don't need to keep this. I freaking want to keep it because I've never even used it from when I bought this set. But I already have a brush with the same freaking head. I don't need multiple brush heads or multiple brushes with the same head. Oh my gosh, this needs to be my motivation to not keep buying brushes, use the ones I have so I don't waste my money because I'm just getting rid of stuff that I spent my money on. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this and go into this cup that's hi it was hiding back here, but now it's up here. I'm going to pick out the brushes I know I'm going to keep. So we got a Wet n Wild, two Real Techniques, and this is a Sephora brush. I'm going to go ahead and keep all of these. So these are from the Ulta Beauty collection. We've got a blush brush and an eyeshadow brush. I'm going to go ahead and declutter both of these. This is e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush. I was just about to keep it, but honestly, I look at what I think is just about to happen. Ugh, do you see that? Declutter. I've had this for so long. I have literally had that for years, so so I can't fault this brush for kind of falling apart like that because I have cleaned this and used this for over two and a half years. This Wet n Wild brush, I don't even know what it's technically considered to be. However, I don't use it. I've never used it since I owned it. I'm going to declutter it. Like, part of me is like, no, you need to keep it. You don't know if you'll need it, but I haven't used it. I haven't found a use for it, so I'm going to just declutter it. That is the same case with these three Wet n Wild brushes also. I don't know what they're technically called. They don't say on the handles. I have found very minimal use for any of these, if any at all. I think this one's a concealer brush. I don't know. Part of me wants to keep them. Part of me is like, no, 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 Angela, just keep them. However, I haven't found a use for them so far. Am I really going to find a use for them? I use this one for concealer to dig down into, okay, I'm going to get rid of these two, but I'm going to keep this one. This one's good for digging down into tubed products when you're running, or when you're at the end, I forgot. I did actually use this one before. If you see at the tip of it, the paint's coming off because I pretty heavily used it. I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to go up to this cup right up here, to this cup that was up here. I'm going to pick out the ones I know I want. I'm going to start with this brush cup first. I'm going to go ahead and pick out the brushes I know I'm keeping out of this cup. So we got a Sephora brush, a Wet n Wild brush, Real Techniques, Real Techniques. I use this one for self tanning my face. I'm going to keep all of these. Never used this since I had this, a Wet n Wild brush. I'm going to declutter this one. I'm probably going to want to punch myself for watching this while I'm editing this. However, I'm going to keep all four of these Real Techniques brushes. Because I can't bring myself to break up the set. I'm not doing it. <laughs> not doing it. Sorry guys. The last two brushes in this cup are pretty much the same brush heads. This one's just a little bit larger than this one. Got a Wet n Wild and this one's Urban Decay. Um, I'm gonna declutter the Wet n Wild and keep the Urban Decay. Son of a bitch. I keep hitting my computer and making it unsleep. The last cup back here, I'm not, I'm not going to pull it out because it's big and oblong. I'm just going to pull from it. I know I said I wanted to keep this brush from this cup back here. However, I have the same exact brush right here, let alone the Sephora brush. Sephora brush is more compact in the head than these two. These two are literally the same consistency. I am not going to keep them both. I can't do it. I cannot. They're both wet and wild. So I have had this one for longer out of the two. I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. I'll keep this one. So the last three brushes that I have to go through, face brushes, I still have to go through my eyeshadow brushes. But for face brushes, these are the last ones. Two Real Techniques and a Wet n Wild. This is dumb. Why do I want to keep them all? They're all the same. They all do the same thing. I don't even like this kind of brush for bronzing, so why do I have three when I don't even like 
one for bronzing. I prefer something like this shape to bronze with. Uh, okay, I'm gonna keep this one. For the sake of the collection, I'm gonna keep this one and declutter the Wet n Wild because I already have so many of these and they feel the same when I run my finger through them. So yeah, keeping this one, decluttering this one. I know I just said I wanted to save the collection for this, but I do not use this Real Techniques eyeshadow brush. So this is from that Galaxy collection. I don't use this. This is just too big, too round, too buff, too huge, too wide, too big, decluttering. So these ones I'm keeping, I'm gonna go put these back here. And all of these I'm gonna lay out so I can pick them out by brush style. I'm gonna pick out the ones I know I'm keeping. So this round of eyeshadow brushes I know I'm keeping, I've got two Real Techniques, two Wet n Wild brushes. I just like the blending head on these. These are good for just blending out and these are good for actually applying product. Keeping these. And the second round of brushes I know I'm keeping, I've got a Real Techniques and It Cosmetics. Two Morphe brushes. Keeping these. These three brushes I am going to declutter from my collection. We've got, I don't know, these were from Ipsy Bags, these top two. And this bottom one is Wet n Wild. I cannot pronounce the name of the top two. They're about the same. This one's a little narrower, but they're pretty much the same as the other brushes I kept. I don't need this many blending brushes. I don't need this many crease brushes and after having bought these ones and the sparkly brushes, they all have blending parts on them. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and declutter all three of these. I saved this Wet n Wild brush in my last brush declutter because I thought maybe I'd need it or I'd find a use for it. However, I still haven't. I still don't think, I still can't think of a use I would have for this, so I'm just decluttering it. These two Wet n Wild brushes I've had for over two and a half years now. They were the first flat shader brushes I bought. I used the poop out of these. Used and cleaned the poop out of these. Yes, they are the exact same brushes. So I'm gonna declutter one and I'm gonna keep one. The last two brushes that I have to talk about today, Sonia Kashuk and the bottom one is another Ipsy bag brush that I cannot pronounce the name of. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter both of these, specifically because I have those It Cosmetics brushes like this, which is what this one is. And this is just this, this Sonia Kashuk white brush. It's what that is, but it's smaller. Before I had learned what these brushes were, I had found this one in store and I was like, yeah, that works. My world has been broadened, I have seen new things, so I'm decluttering both of these. Alright, those are kind of organized. I suppose those are about as organized as they're gonna get. They are so much emptier than they were. Now I have more room for activities, more room for I don't need to buy any more damn brushes. Angela, note to self, these are all of my brushes I am going to be decluttering. A few of them I'm just gonna throw away, but for the most part, they're just going into my pile of things for my friends to go through. All right, that is everything that I had to go through and declutter from my brush collection. I don't have that many brushes, but I personally feel like I have too many. I, I only have one face. I don't do makeup on other people, so I need to try and keep my collection narrowed down. I also need to not buy any brushes. I should have put this in my low buy video, but I actually didn't think about my brushes until after the fact. But I do not need to buy any more brushes. Right around Christmas time I actually picked up some new ones. Yeah, I officially do not need any more brushes, so I need to not buy any more. I'm not really allowing myself any more brushes. I mean, I guess if one of them gets really 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 destroyed and doesn't work well anymore or they all like the bristles fall out or something I guess then I'll be able to repl I'll let myself replace it but otherwise I need to go on a serious no buy of brushes because yeah brushes and sponges definitely have enough brushes and sp well sponges singularly 
I totally have enough sponges to last me through till 2020. So I do not need to buy any more sponges unless I make it through it and run through all of mine. But literally I would have to go through like a sponge a month to do that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where the, the low buy takes me. I will update everybody on my videos. Not that I think anybody even watches anything or anybody cares about it, but for me, my personal records, I'm going to. Thank you so much for watching my mini brush collection declutter. I hope everybody has a great day.